hello guys it's me again and in today's tutorial we're going to look at how you can create your own efi i know i've done this video before but in today's video we're going we're going to go with a request from ramo here and he put down the specs of his machine so let's get started first of all here you can see the machine is Dell Optilex 3080 tower and the CPU is Core i5 10,500 so first thing first we need to go through the requirements and the first thing you need to have you need to have the open core package so you can download the latest which is 0 0.9.7 so after the download let me show you if you look closely on your right hand of your of this computer you can see i've just downloaded the open core version 0 0.7 0 0.9.7 sorry the release version and that's the first requirement you need to have the second one you need to have the proper property also you can see i've just downloaded it and thirdly you need to have the gen sm bios so also there it is i've just downloaded the i'll leave all the link in the description of this video so you don't have to worry about it also i'll leave the efi so the next thing you need to uh you need, we need to go to the tanya guide so but first those are just the requirement so we need to check out this it say it's core i5 10500 so just copy it and paste it paste it on google sorry just paste and search oh, on the first link right here just click on it and we can see the code name is comet lake so if we go to the tanya guide we know what we will be searching for so ours is comet lake and so let's get started so first of all you need to have the property application so let me just create it first open your script and then select build up command and then just come here let's see let's see let's see security and privacy general just click ok and then open anyway and open it so it will build our so you can see here uh, our so let me just select the first one since it's the right one and you can see it has built our application and save it here so let me just close it and this is our app so let me drag it to application and that's done so i'll not be need i'll not need this so i'll just move it to bin so let me just open it yes it's working so let's close this one so the next thing we need to have the let me just first open the guide now so this is the guide you need to go to the tanya guide and then here just we need to search for comet lake 
um, since it's a desktop so I'll go with a desktop if yours is a laptop you need to choose the laptop right down here so click OK so this is our starting point guys so the documentation is very clear so you, need, you don't need have to worry just follow it and everything will just flow so the starting point we are just created our property and we have our genus and bios right here and the next one we need to have our sample dot or config dot p list so you you you're going to find this on your open core folder so let me just show you open this one and then here on the docs so here we have x64 and then utilities and then we have i32 and then docs so we we'll need this x264 so let me just drag it here and then we need to have our sample or config.p list it's, it's just here on the docs so just click here and then this is it so also let me just pull it there and yeah that's that's all you need so let me just delete this one also because i'll not be needing it so just open your efi oc and then just drag this one here and rename it to config.plist so like so save okay so the next thing we need to have our scpi so and let me just expand this one so here you can see from the image here we need to have ssdt dash plug dot aml and then ssdt dot so from the info here i say this is where the so this plug allow native cpu power management on as well and newer if you need to get more details you can click here and then, and then we need to go to ssdt dash ac usbx fix both embedded controller and usb power also if you need to uh, get more information about this one just go in here to click on get started with scpi but i'm not going to talk about it today so the next one we need to have the ssdt awc so this is the 3000 serials patch required in for all the b40s and z490 so this is a must as you can let me show you here if you come here and then we choose this and then just go to chipset right here yes you can see this is b460 and here it says it is required for all b460s and z490 boards so we, we are going to need this one so these three are mandatory for this build so the next thing we have ssdt dash rehab so needed to fix the device on asus and potentially so we will not be needing this one so okay so let's continue so we need to get our ssdt's so just click on get started and from get started on your left of your menu right here just click on the pre-built ssds so here we need to find our comet leg just right here so this is our pre-built ssds so let me just click it there and then we will need the ssd plug dot dotana but we're going to rename it as ssdt dot plug only so just download it 
and let's drag it here and then the next one is EC USB X so again EC USB X desk desktop sorry so if you have a laptop just choose the laptop if you have a desktop go with this one so download it and then also let's copy it on the desktop and the next the last one is AWSC so here it is so let's just download it like so and then drag it to the desktop so we are done with the SCP so we need to add it so let me just let me just rename this one first yeah like so so let me just copy them open our EFI OC HCPI and then press them okay so the next thing we need to do so let's open our config.p list with property right that's that's it so let me just clear this one first just clear this all this so that we can just remain with the guide okay so let me just minimize that one first so this is our config.p list and we have not added anything so what we need to do i i tend to clear everything here and then so i need to add my ssdt so let me just do a oc snapshot and then i'll just choose where the efi is so this is my desktop so just it map it so let me just there yes so as you can see after the oc snapshot you can see we have our ssdts there already so that's nice so let me just save it first and then we continue so again let me just open my chrome so the next phase we need to go to is we need to go to let me just open this one since we are done with the scpi so let me just minimize it the next way you need to go to booter you can see for for delete and patch we don't have to do anything you just leave it so here on booter let me just sorry let me just okay so like so all right so on the boot here it says as you can see where the, it's highlighted in red we need to either set it to true or false so we start with the virtual the virtualized mmio so let's do it and then it's on the quarks so just minimize this one and this so here is the we need to set it to true so sorry just make it to true and then you need to go to enable right protect so let's come here enable right protect enable right and protect us all you need to make it to false by default it is set to true but you need to set it to false okay and then protect ufi services so we need to set it to true here it is protect usb services let's set it to true and rebuild apple memory map we need to set it to true again so this is 
by default it's false so just make it true and then sign sync runtime permission you need to set it to true so by default it's false but you need to set it to true and we are done with the booter so if you need to have more info of what it said there you just come to this section and then you can just read about more in-depth info here so i'll not be going through all this so if you need you can just go through them so the next thing you need to go let me just minimize this you need to go to device property here so so in this section we need to set this section is set via whatever green if you need to read more about frame but frame sorry frame patching guide you can just click here and then you can read more about it so i'll just go direct to the i'll just copy this one and on device property add i'll just add a sibling or just a child as you do it so, and then we'll paste that Let me just delete it. It's about to. Be, it's a child, not a sibling. Sorry. So I'll just paste that one and then choose dictionary right there. So here we have the A A A P L I G platform. So. You can see it says 0 0.709 BE used when the desktop IGPU is used to drive display. So in this case, we're going to go with this one and we have this alternative. So let's just use this one and add it. Let's add a child under this one new sibling oh it's a child sorry so and then we need to we need to add key which is this one and then paste it there and it should be data and then the value will be this one so let's paste the value there okay the next thing we need to add frame buffer patch enable so just copy it again come here add a new child under this one so just paste it so store the mem then come here add a new child and then paste it there so let me just make this one to be the first one also this one we need to make it to data all of them data so let's copy this one paste it and then come here and paste it so you can see here it says you know that with this with mac os 10.15.5 and newer there seems to be a lot of issue with black screen using this if you get similar issue so and uh, this this guy says on the comment that he had an issue with black screen so let me just change this one first to there so that's good and also we need to have to add two more properties from purple and 
so the next thing so you can see this is the example for desktop ud630 without the gpu and no buy option for igpu memory and here we have if you need to use the the i225.v 2.5 gb controller you need to add this one so let me just add that one this is just a precaution so new child and then paste that there should be dictionary and then we need to add a new child which is device id and then paste there and make sure it's that on data the type and then paste it also let me make this one so okay okay so and the layout id let me leave it by default as one for the audio so we are good there let me just save it first and the next one we need to go to the kernel tab right here and we need to have uh, to add our uh, our kicks so that's what i'm going to do and let me just let me just open the more in depth so here the main thing you need to keep in mind that any plugin remember that any plugin should load after its dependency this means that kicks like lilu must come before virtual mc apple lc whatever green etc so a reminder that property users can con control or command plus shift plus r to add their cakes in the correct order without manually typing so let's do it let me just minimize this one move it right here right here i've just uh, downloaded the needed cakes and also if you need cakes you're gonna come to acid and terra sorry you're gonna come to acid and terra repository here on github and then you can download the cakes the required cakes so you can just lilu virtual smc whatever green apple lc we have restrict event and etc so I've just downloaded the cakes, so I'll just drop them on OC and then cakes. So I'll make sure I've just get the basic one. So, okay. All right. So we need to go with command shift plus r so that's what i'm going to do right now so command shift plus r and make sure i've choose my oc folder like so and let me just minimize this once you can see the one that we have just added so you can see here it has just added our checks okay so we have watch smc restrict event nvme fix lilu and intel mouse so again i'm gonna just save it for now and then i'm gonna we'll see snapshot okay So our business there is done. The next, the next thing we need to do, we just need to go to kernel and then the quarks. So let's just open our 
config.plist so let me just go to let me just minimize this one that one we don't need anything there also there so we are on the quacks so here apple x cpm cfg lock need to be true so by default it's false so set it to true and then custom assembly GID enable for Dell and Vio system. So since this one is a Dell, we need to enable it. Sorry, and make it to true. Uh, disable IO mapper. Also, we need to set it to true. Okay, and then lapi kernel panic. If you have HP system, you need to enable it. So panic no kex dump we need to set it to true so panic 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 and by default it's false so we need to set it to true and then power timeout kernel panic we need to set it to true also and then we have our x cpi port limit you need to set it to true okay so we have done with that kernel and the next thing we need to do we need to go to if you need to read more just but in this tutorial just be shallow so i'll just i will not talk much about but you can read about them on the more in in-depth info so okay so let's go let's go you can see on the quacks it says needed if cg is disabled in the bios not needed if vdt is disabled in the bios hp machine will require this yes yes and okay so the next thing we need to go to scheme so let me just minimize this one if you click to more in-depth info we need to set it to fuzzy match we need to set it to true so fuzzy match by default is true and then kernel arch is uh, supposed to be x6 x86 sorry underscore 64 but i'll just leave it at auto and then kernel cache need to be on auto too so we are done with there the next tab we need to go to is miscellaneous so let me just open the miscellaneous and then we need to go to debug right here so apple debug is supposed to supposed to be true and apple panic also is supposed to be true the target we need to set it to 67 okay that there we are done with it so the next one we need to go to security so security right here and on security we need to set scan policy to zero security scan policy we need to set it to zero secure boot model i just go with disable for this in this case and then the vault right here is going to be optional so just write optional okay so we are done there and let me just save it first so if you go to boot where is boot hide auxiliary so enable so let's go to hide auxiliary yes press space to show the mac os recovery and other auxiliary entries so that's good okay so let's go let's go let's go we are done there if you need to learn more about that one just click on the more depth info and then you can read about it so the next phase we need let me just minimize this and we ram 
so nvram we just need to choose the the third entry right here just let's just minimize this one so here we need to add our boot tags so let me just go to debug equal to zero times 100 and then i'll seed equal to one also the csr active config just remain like that and then the language just delete everything else leave it like that so we have the the boot boot tags right here and, and their description so okay but this machine needs we know gpu so i forgot this one so i'll just paste it there so if your machine is let me just Dell. i look at this machine and i saw here on the graphic and video controller it has intel uhd graphics 630 but also we have the some discrete graphics so this wedge no egpu will disable all these other graphics the discrete graphics so it will just use the intel uhd 630 alone so let's continue and if you need to make this language to be us you can just copy this one and then just change here to string and come and paste this one so it will be on the language will be english us so okay so the next thing we need to come to where 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 delete so where is delete okay let me just minimize this one and then we need to go to right flash right here okay do not add will not override or present okay just this one just leave it like that so the last thing we need to do we just need to open our we need to open our gnsm bios application and then let me just minimize this one first open and then just run this command again open anyway close it and just make it bigger okay so let me just select one first and it's gathering the max serial info so that's good so as this one is doing its thing so let's come here and see as you can see for the info it says for setting the sm bios info we use already we have just get got our gen sm bios for comet like example choose imac 20 comma 1 sm bios okay imac 20 comma 1 this is done intentionally for compatibility sake there are two main sm bios used in comet like we have the iMac 20 comma 1 for i7 and lower and if you have a higher core i9 uh, 10,900 or higher you just need to choose the iMac 20 comma 2 so 
let's generate our serials right here so let me just copy this one i mark 20 comma 1 so and then let's select our just hit number two and select our config.p list so we'll drag it okay just drag it there like so and then don't enter so as you can see here uh, it says the current conf current p list is on our so the next thing we need to generate the sm bios so just hit on number three and then i'll just write imac 20 comma one and then hit on enter so as simple as that all this detail has been added to our config.p list and if you need to to prove it let me just hit on return and hit on q to quit this one and delete this one so if i if i oc snapshot this one you can see let me just show you right here let me just minimize this you can see right here it says i mark 19 comma 1 so let me just oc snapshot and let me just show you that our sm bios has been added to our oh wow not yet let me just save it and let me just open it again so that okay i think it, it it has not added our let me just redo it so let me just open gnsm bios again and then let me just select my config.p list let me just drag it there and then we don't enter so here we need to generate okay so generate the same bias number three let me go with imac 20 comma one it don't enter so it says flashing is similar to just hit enter and then let's, let's go let's just let me just open this one again property if it's if it will not work we'll just add it manually okay there we go so as you can see it has added our iMac 20 and also serial and everything so we are just sorted there so let me just close this one and that's it so let's continue the next thing we need to go to the UFI and we need to add the drivers the drivers so we need to get the drivers so we need to we need this hfs plus and open runtime so if we open our oefi oc drivers we can see a lot of things but what you need just is just the hfs plus efi and runtime but if we need to if you use the the theming of your when the you boot your machine will just need open canopy too so i'll just delete all it all of this let me just 
also if you need to have the start sound on your iMac you need to to remain with this so I thought you should know but in this case let me just leave the necessary ones so if you have a if you are dual booting or triple booting with Ubuntu and you need to to have this driver also but that's story for another day so let me just move to bin also this one is needed if your machine is is not uh, UFI enabled the legacy machine so you we'll need to have this one but yeah it's a modern machine so you don't need this one so i'll just delete all these ones let's see we have oh sorry this one also and Remy express you can just leave it but let me just leave it like that these six drivers but the mandatory one are just these two open hfs plus and open runtime.efi but if you need to have if you set your uh, on your miscellaneous if you set your uh, let me show you if you go to miscellaneous if you set your uh, picker mode it's supposed to be external if you set to external you will need the open canopy which it will show the accidental open code theme so i think you should know that so the next thing we need to go we need to hit on open oc snapshot so that it can add our drivers let me just show you right here so on our drivers you can see we have our drivers they have been added and let me just save it okay so let's continue and we need to you can just learn more but i'll just as i said before i'll just just brush on these things so i'll just i will not go deeper okay so on the output if you have like let me just if you have like the scaling you need you need to set this one to two the output right here ui scale right here but on zero it will automatically set based on re resolution so this is the this is the best setting you can add so this one unblock fc connect no needed mainly by hp motherboard so if you have hp motherboard you need to enable this one and i think we are done so everything right here is good and you don't need to add anything else so our efi is ready and it can boot your mac os sonoma and below so without any issue so let me just save it let me just go see clean snapshot and save it so and we are done guys our efi now is ready and it can boot it can boot the mac os sonoma mac os ventura mac os monterey big Sur, and any mac os so that's it for that for this video guys and i hope you enjoy the video just leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one i'm going to leave this efi on the video description below 
you can use it at your own disposal so that's it for this video guys and i'll see you on the next one enjoy